changing the plants in the St. Gallen Aquarium built. So I shared with you a few months ago where in which I actually did a St. Gallen and I actually placed some plants in it, right? Some of these said plants was in it. However, as a result of the invariable temperature of the aquarium, um, the, the, the plant, I think it's probably about two or three of this um, plant actually survived, right? Um, the space in which the aquarium was installed is very cold, so I had to actually, and I shared that with you in the, in the last update, I had to um, install a, what you call a, 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 a aquarium water eater. Okay, so for today's share, I'm sharing with you the fact that I am going to be installing some new plants. I have actually removed all the plants, all the plant containers, and I'm going to be um, actually placing um, these plants within uh, the Centigal and Bill. So this is Elodia Densa, and this is Elodia Densa also, right? But you know, they have Elodia Densa and they have some other funny names behind it. I can't pronounce those names, right? And this is on what right so what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be taking a piece of wire from here I'm gonna be tying it together like this right um, all of them together like this and uh, we shall see what we shall see so I've actually completed wiring the, the plants together all right these will be placed within the aquarium the same together and don't worry about um, how small it looks these plants uh, and I'm going to be talking a little bit about that right now. Okay, these plants are very unique. I don't have to actually stick them into the substrate for them to actually start to grow. However, for order within the aquarium space, that's the reason why. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be just using my fingers to actually move the gravel away. Yes, and I don't need any soil neither, right? And just stuck this in, right? And uh, within a few weeks, you will see this actually blossoming and probably I'm going to have to clip it because it grows, it grows really well, right? So I have three stock of plants here, right? I'm going to be placing it um, throughout the aquarium, three, right? And um, as they grow, I can stick them into other places. Now, the reason why I actually changed to these plants is because these plants are really tough. Of all the three plants that was actually installed in the last, um, in the, in the last plant setup, right um this is the only type that actually survived right two the fish that is within the space is very aggressive um in the sense that they love to chase each other so i i want plants that are sturdy and that are not easily broken right these plants are so unique that i don't have to um actually plant them in the substrate i can just throw them in the in the aquarium like that and they just start to you know to grow Right, but because I want order within the aquarium, I want the aquarium plants to be orderly placed, I am doing it this way. So, uh, stay with me a little bit and I share it to you. So here I have the plants all tucked into the aquarium, the St. Gallon Aquarium, the Hornwood, Elodia Densa, and Elodia Densa, right? All standing upright, all in clumps, and it should work okay. Now, um, this plant is in front of the aquarium bubble one so it shouldn't have any problem with light um that one is also um in the front of a bubble one so therefore it wouldn't have any problem with light and this one is also in front of a bubble one that will not but that, will, that should have any problem with light so therefore the plants barring that the the, the fish doesn't actually dig them up right uh, they should do quite fine and I can tell you that in a few weeks time I probably might be here and trying to clip them because they go really fast right thank you very much for stopping by have a wonderful day guys peace out I'm gonna actually install well I'm gonna place the pumps on place the fish in and that will be my work for today peace out catch you next time bye bye